Okay, I want to talk about the pause and resume events that are part of Cordova. So if you've ever used an app on a phone, which I'm assuming everybody has, you know that you can put the app into the background and then you can reopen it a little bit later. That's the pause and resume events that are taking place there. So we can use that to take advantage of things and figure out what the user was doing at the point in time where they paused the app. So when you resume the app, you can jump back in, you can get some new data, do something like that. So my very basic app that I built, uh, if you've watched my previous videos on Cordova, you know just the couple Cordova create command to create the app. I took the basic app, all I did was swap out this little bit of information here. I created a div with the ID output, put a paragraph inside there. This is where I'm going to write out the messages for the app. So that's all the changes that I've made to the HTML. On the JavaScript page, I took out the default that they had and created my own. So I started with the initialize function, the same as they have in the default. I'm calling app.initialize to start the app running. Inside of there, I'm listening for the device ready. When that event happens, that means that DOM content loaded has happened and any and all plugins that you have for Cordova have been installed and they're ready to be used. Next, what I'm doing is I'm getting a reference to that paragraph inside the output div on my page because I want to write out my messages there. I'm going to look inside of local storage for something called pause app. If there's something with the key pause app, now this isn't a magic word or anything, it's just what I'm calling it. This will either come back with undefined or it'll come back with the actual data. So if it comes back with data, then I'm going to, oh, actually, I don't need to put this in here. I've already got the reference to it on the line above, right up here. So I'm going to do a parse of the data that came back. So if this is not undefined, it means that there was something with that key saved in local storage in the browser. If it exists, I'm going to take that and I'm going to get the timestamp property that I'm going to set inside of pause app. So this key is going to be an object. It's got a property called timestamp, which is the time that the user last paused the app. So I will write out that value. I'm going to convert it to a locale string and write it out inside of that paragraph. If this was undefined, it means it's never been set before, then I'm going to write out the app has never been paused. So what else are we doing? Well, the init function that we called first of all here, we're just adding an event listener for pause and resume. That's it. That's really the crux of this whole video is just these two lines of code. You want to add an event listener to the document for pause and for resume. And you can write your own functions that will occur. These functions will be triggered when pause or resume happens in the app. Cordova will let your app know, hey, it's been paused. It's been resumed. So if it's been paused, we're going to come in here. I'm writing out to the console the event object itself as an interactive object so that we can take a look at all the properties inside there. I'm going to create this object with a property called timestamp and I'm going to get the current timestamp off of the phone, put it in this object, and then I'm going to call local storage set item as opposed to the get item. Here's that name again, pause app, that's what we called it. So this is the key and here's the value. I'm taking this object and I'm going to stringify it using the built-in JSON object. This will then set that inside of local storage before the actual pausing takes place. So this hook for pause, what it is doing is it's actually going to let you intercede and do something just in the moment before the app is kind of put into the background. My resume, I'm doing the exact same thing I did up here. So this could be a call to the same function. I could just make a call to resumed from up here to do the same thing. Go find pause app. If it exists, write the information out. If it doesn't, write the app has never been paused. Okay, so let's run this. So I'm in my terminal. I'm inside this folder with pause resume. This is my app. I've already installed the Android platform. That's the one thing I did beyond creating the project. So there it is, it's deploying it to the device, which is my phone. Here's the app, and on my phone it just started up. So the app has now started on my phone. This is not it, this is a previous version that I had opened in the browser just to open the browser window. So inspect, 
here's the actual one. This, has, this is the one that I just installed on the phone. And you can see there's my message, app has never been paused. That is not the same as what's written in the HTML. Sample app using the pause and resume events. So I know that this bit of code up here, this ran. So I had nothing in local storage. So with nothing in local storage, this is the message that I get. To pause, I can hit the close button, I can hit the list button to select other apps on my phone. Tab's now, in now inactive. And here's the console.log. This is the pause event taking place. So this, this app has been paused. If I then tap back to reopen it, here's the next event, the resume event. And sure enough, there's my message. App was last paused today at 4.42 and 58 seconds. So there it is. Now you know when I'm making this. <laughs> so we could close this, inspect again. I will close the app on my phone. Okay, yeah, you can see it's disconnected, connection's lost. I have now closed that app. I'm now going to start the app up again. There you can see that the app just started up. Nothing written out here, so paused and resume did not take place, but my device ready event did fire and it wrote out. There it is. This is the last point where the app was paused. So that's when I was shutting it down. The pause event fired. This gave me this timestamp. Now, what can I do with that? Well, as I mentioned earlier, this is a great way to know if you need to get new data. So I could pass this timestamp up to the server. I can do a fetch call and say, here's the last timestamp for when I knew what was going on with my app. Can you please give me everything that's happened since that point? And I can bring that fetch data down and display it in my app. And that's about it. That is the pause and resume event. So I hope you found that useful. Um, I'm going to take this JavaScript file. I'll make this a code gist and I will leave it up there for you. It'll be in the link to it will be in the description for the video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please share it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.